Hello and welcome to this video tutorial where you'll be learning how to speak in any voice using nothing but your computer and a microphone since everything is running locally on your machine. We'll cover three main steps. The first one is the preparation of the input voice where we'll be converting and extracting audio. The second step is the training of the model this is done in a quite complex user interface, but once you see how it's done, you'll realize that it's actually quite easy to use. For the final step, the usage of the model will switch to an even simpler user interface. Now what you'll need for this tutorial is an NVIDIA GPU that supports CUDA. You will need about 30 gigabyte of free disk space and about 10 minutes of the voice that you want to train the model on. You will also need a recording of your own voice, which we'll then use at the end to convert it to AI voice. A couple of notes here. We'll be only focusing on spoken voice and not singing. And we're also not doing it in the most efficient way, but I think we're doing it in the easiest way. We're basically using the same tool twice, but with a different UI but that means it still needs twice the disk space. However, once you get more familiar with the entire process, you might be able to get rid of one of the tools. And in case you haven't noticed, this isn't my real voice. I'm using the same method as I'm about to show you to record the voice for this tutorial video. So the voice we want to train our model on is in a video, which you can see here theory and practice between the ideas that motivated uh, or that helped the founders to structure it. It also has a little intro at the start that we need to cut and we are using a tool called Audacity. The link you can find in the description. Just make sure you have the FFmpeg library set and the tool is able to locate it. Then we just drag and drop our video into the tool. Once it's done analyzing, just by mouse click, we select the intro and we delete that part. Since we only need 10 minutes, we're also deleting the rest of the video by the same method. And then we export the file as a WAV file. Once that's done, you can close the tool and delete the video. And that concludes the first step. For the next part, we're going to need the link from the description, and which leads us to Hugging Face. We scroll down and we download the RVC beta 7c file. Once that's done, we need to unzip the file. You need 7-zip for that process. Once that's done, we can delete the 7-c file. Now we can just drag and drop the lecturer folder into the main RVC beta folder and we scroll down to the go web dot bat file. Once that's done loading, it should open your web browser and you will see the user interface. Again, it looks quite complex, but the good thing is we're only using it to train our model, so when we click on train we'll see the only relevant tab for us. And there's still a few options here, as you can see, but we only need to do minor changes. So first we are giving the experiment a new name, we're calling it Lecturer. Make sure the rest of the settings look the same for you. Here we only need to change V1 to V2, and we also need to point it to our training folder, which is the Lecturer folder that we just created, 
And the easiest way in Windows Explorer is to copy the path and paste it in here. And then we can click on process data. When you open the command window, you can see there's a few things going on in the background here. You need to make sure that you wait until the tool says end preprocess twice, as you just saw. And that means we finished step 2a, which is the first of three training steps. Now we're doing step 2b. If everything looks the same here, you don't need to do any changes. Only click on feature extraction. And in the command window, you can see what it's doing, splitting the WAV files. And once it says all feature done, that means step 2b has completed. And we can go back to the user interface. Now for the third step, we're going to make some adjustments here. We're going to set the saving frequency to 50 and the total training epochs to 300. For the batch size, just make sure that this value is lower than the RAM that your GPU has. We're going to make a change here and say that we only want the latest CKPT file saved. And then we click on one click training. As you may notice, the one-click training is also running step 2a and step 2b again. So in theory, one-click training should be the only button that we need to press. However, I ran into issues, so I stuck to the workflow that you just saw, since it always works for me. It's going to take a while to finish, but once it's done, it's going to say final CKPT success. So the last thing you need to do is go back to the user interface and click on Train Feature Index. This will be very quick and create a PTH file, which you will find in the Weights folder. So make sure it's there. This means everything has worked as expected. We're going to need that file in a minute. And you could continue in this user interface to actually use the model now. But for the sake of simplicity, we are going to switch to a much simpler user interface for our final step. Once you open the third link from the description, it's going to take you to a GitHub page where you can scroll down and download the latest RVC GUI. Then you need to extract all files. And this is going to take a while since there's many, many files in the zip archive. Once everything is unpacked, you can delete the zip file and navigate to the main RVC GUI folder and launch the tool by opening RVC GUI.bat. We ignore what Windows recommends and we'll see a nice simple user interface where at the top we can input our audio file and we can select the model once imported and to import the model that we just created, we'll navigate once more to the RVC beta folder, go to weights, and we copy our lecture PTH file, which we'll then paste in the models folder of RVC GUI. And we also need to compress it to a zip file. Then we just delete our PTH file because we don't need it anymore. And in the tool, we can now import our model. And now 
we can see or we can also select it from the list of models. Now for the input audio file I'm using a phone recording so it's in the M4A format that means we need to convert it to WAV once again. This is just me speaking into my phone which you'll hear in a second. So now that we have a WAV file of me speaking, we are going to open this file from the user interface and we'll change the method to harvest, make sure our GPU is selected, not the CPU, and then we hit convert. And this should not take very long. And as you can hear, I'm now speaking in the voice of the lecturer. So as this was my first tutorial video, I'd appreciate any kind of feedback. Let me know what can be improved. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them as good as I can. Otherwise, subscribe or give me a like and I'll see you next time.